Hey, it's Jebo. Welcome to Brickzar, your home for Lego hauls and vintage Lego. <laughs> so we got a special package here. This big one is from Mardi Gras Man 23, who can be seen every couple of weeks over on Brick Trains channel with myself, Joey from Brick Trains. Uh, we are doing the A Fool podcast. So every other Friday, we upload a video that we filmed the previous Wednesday <laughs> uh, for the A Fool podcast where we talk about whatever we want to talk about uh, but it almost always involves something about old lego because we are fans of old lego and that's what a fool is but anyway so we got this package uh, from mardi gras man and then the smaller package is an ebay purchase actually when i got this it was from replay toys uh which i think we've bought from or received packages from in the past pretty sure <laughs> We have that was eBay purchase right there, and I've still been working on parting out Chima sets, making a lot of progress. I'm down to where I'm like parting out things I have only one copy of, which is um, a little more tedious. I don't recommend it if you're parting out things. It's always better to do things in quantity. Uh, so what I've been doing is like when I only have like one or two copies, I part out multiples of them at the same time. And put them all in the same upload because some of those sets will have the same parts like the chi crystals they're in almost every set uh, so i can group all those together where i'm not making a lot of trips to the drawers so i did uh, the one that, that had the stack on the table i put all those away that was like eight different set eight sets <laughs> uh, so, so uh, now i'm working on some of the bigger sets that I only got one copy of but making progress so like like the volume that this box takes up, I have gotten rid of that volume in Chima sets. So this, that's the idea is to make room in this basement. I got to make sure that more goes out or is in the store than it's taken up in the personal area, which is like 90% of the basement probably. <laughs> I used to say like at least 70% or whatever, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot of stuff. So uh, we're adding to it today in this video. Uh, but this, this one here is for my wanted list. I'll open this one first since it's a small package. We got this on eBay. I was actually kind of surprised to see this. I've never, this is an item I've never seen go up for sale before. So... All right, and it's not necessarily this one part. All right, so this set, or this item, which I think he said was missing one piece, which I, I've added that piece to my wanted, oh, these aren't even, yeah, all right. So, this is one of the um, conveyor belt things from the gravel quarry and a couple other sets. So we got the scoop at the bottom, and then we got this, the, the conveyor section, the little belt, which goes in there, and then you put it here. But there's supposed to be a little stand here, so he said that piece uh, he didn't have um, as part of the listing. Uh, so I, I need to find the little stand that goes with this. But this is for one of my wanted list items. So set that aside. And this is the part, though, that I really wanted. This is the part that I, I've seen this. You know, this isn't rare, but usually it'll cost you about $20 to get a complete assembly of this. This is what I wanted. I've never seen this go up for sale before. Let me see if I can get this out without destroying it. It is the instructions for set 248. Uh, so it looks like it's got an alternate build, or either they place it in different places on the base plate. So this is the, the 25 by 50 base plate we were talking about in the previous video. So I got a damaged one, a, a damaged 25 by 50 base plate. And then I got the um, thing. And I'm wondering, wondering if these uh, pieces are supposed to be a different color on this particular set. I've got to go look at the closer at the inventory. Uh, for this, let's oh, see if I can open this up. But this is the uh, the instructions for this set. Uh, this was probably a Samsonite. Oh, it says model maker, printed in the USA, so it's got to be from the Samsonite era. Um, 
Oh, and it's got the little lines like in the idea books. And I imagine, I've never seen the box for this set, but my guess is it's one of those brown cardboard boxes uh, that a lot of the Samsonite, FAO shorts, Sears catalog type things came in. That's what I'm guessing, but I've never, I've, ne I've never seen this for sale. So just to get the instruction manual, <laughs> I was willing to pay that price for the whole auction just for that, but he also had the conveyor belt. So these, it's, it's a real set. It does exist. These are real printed instructions. These are not photocopies. This is the actual instruction manual. So that is an extra bonus. I was going to piece the set together regardless of whether or not I ever found the instructions, but to put that on my wanted list and then shortly after that item came for sale. And, oh, and this is the funny thing, is I did not find that by searching set 248. I found this instruction manual by searching vintage Duplo. I put in, literally I put in vintage Duplo into my search and about 40 lines down or 40 items down, this popped up. So thank you eBay. Sometimes I don't understand how you recommend things to me, but you got that one right, eBay. So <laughs> I'm looking for vintage Duplo, and I find something on my wanted list that has nothing to do with Duplo, but it is vintage. So maybe that's what it was, the vintage part. All right, so now we got this from Mardi Gras Man. Ah, check it out. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we got a lot of things here. So first up... I've never owned anything like this. Um, so it's the, it's one of those uh, end cap displays and it's in mint condition. Check this out. It's for the Marvel uh, movie, I mean, yeah, the Marvel superheroes. So it's got the little rack. So it's like I can put like some of my sealed CMFs on here, kind of like Brick Trains does on his channel. He's got a couple of these displays back there. On the back, it's got the hooks. I don't know if this is how you hook it, but right, right here where you hang it on, on the wall. Oh, and it's got, this reminds me too. Also, this is like it's designed to go over a bar, uh, a rod or something. I actually need the rod for this other thing that M and R Productions gave me. But Earl, this is in immaculate condition. So thank you. Uh, for sending this, but there's more stuff in here. More stuff, more stuff. We got the King Cake. This coffee is actually really good. So this is from Mardi Gras Man. <laughs> uh, we got some community coffee, which I never find for sale anymore. But this King Cake coffee, I really have enjoyed it when he's um, he sent this to us before. Tastes like coffee cake. <laughs> says a festive blend of cinnamon spice and sweet vanilla flavor. It is really good coffee. And then this, we got some um, dark roast community coffee. So that's pretty cool, but there's more, there's more. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me set this to the side. <laughs> he says, I don't deliver on Sunday. This is the mailman. <laughs> The mailman, Carl Malone, Target exclusive. And this is actually a Team USA version. Um, so Carl, if you don't know, is a basketball player, player from the 80s and 90s. Uh, played with the Utah Jazz for like 18 seasons. And then his last season, he played with the Lakers. He chased the championship. Never won championship with uh, the Jazz. He played with John Stockton for all those years. He's the second all-time leading scorer in the NBA probably will be passed by LeBron James probably this year, I would think, um, if there's enough games left in the year. I, uh, I think there are, but uh, he's number two on the all-time scoring list behind Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, but will probably be passed by LeBron James uh, later this year. Uh, he's also a, was an a excellent rebounder in his career. Uh, always did, you know, it's like in the Western Conference, I always kind of like, I rooted kind of for the um, the jazz, I like John Stockton, Carl Malone. Uh, and he's a Louisiana native. So that's uh, why 
Uh, there's a connection there between myself and Mardi Gras man from Louisiana but, and the mailman. But we also used the mailman. That was his nickname, the mailman. <laughs> That's, and I used the uh, Lego minifigure, the mailman, for uh, a lot of our hauls throughout the years. In fact, we brought him back this year. Uh, the mailman, he's right up here. <laughs> uh, one of the very few NBA players that became a Lego uh, minifigure, Carl the mailman. So thank you so much. Isn't that good? I didn't even know he was sending this, but I knew where the mailman was up here on my, my display. <laughs> so thank you, uh, Earl, uh, for sending us this. And we'll try to find a place to hang this where I can put some of my sealed CMFs on this uh, display here. And I'm going to drink some coffee now. Uh, so that's the haul. Uh, before I go, I'm uh, just going to go over here and put this in this where I'm working on uh, piecing together sets. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I added four more containers. So that added, these were the 40 drawer containers, and that added 160 uh, free drawers to the thing. So I made this little thing a little higher. Right now, it's precariously just sitting here. I just put this three quarter inch plywood on top, so nothing's, Fasten this down. I may take a two by four and put in here and then screw these in. Just like screw a two by four onto this plywood, then screw it there and there, and then do it freestand like that. Make it even go a couple more higher, but yeah, we've that's, had to do something to add all these uh, Chima parts and Technic parts that I've uh, put in here uh, recently. All right, here's my workstation where. I'll start piecing together. I need to print out the list uh, for set 248. We got a couple of the main hard to get items, basically the 25 by 50 base plate and this and the instructions. Uh, 1590, the ANW root beer breakdown assistance. Uh, this is the one that uh, bought some of these parts from, oh, now I can't remember who it was from. <laughs> it's been a while. So I need to go through and do the list and start checking things off on this. I'd actually picked up a few other pieces that go to this that may already be here. Like, oh yeah, that was already in here. So I didn't need to buy that. This, I got a whole checklist or a wanted list on BrickLink of this set, but it includes all the parts. So I need to first figure out what I actually got. And then of course the conveyance uh, that I'm working on. So got all the rare parts for it. Just got to get the uh, common parts. Uh, checked off of there and we'll be done with it but yeah i'm working on uh, uh my wanted list i'm going to piece these together uh, uh, slowly uh, over the course of the year and hopefully i'll get all these done this year and that's the next parts from a chima set that i parted out that i need uh, to add to the store so thank you earl mardi gras man two three for the uh display i'll find a place somewhere might even put it on the stairway uh coming down uh which is i'm gonna walk i don't even know that this is going to go into some bad bad lighting and i'm walking uh, but the the stairway of lego <laughs> and posters uh got my things up there i haven't i've added a few more things in here i want to work on getting more posters going all the way up it's just a matter of building a scaffolding where I can get up there because it's uh, it was about 20 feet up there to the top. Uh, so I was able to get these with a step ladder, but I need to to get those. So if I can get, I mean, obviously I got those way up there. I don't even, it's, this is six feet right here is six feet. So to get all the way up there, I mean, obviously it was a lot more. I don't know if the camera angles show that. I may have to remove the REM poster and put a couple more of the um, mosaics in that area. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, only, I probably should have just done all mosaics on that. I could have put f at least four more if I didn't put the REM poster there. Probably five if I could have put some here with this pylon. Because they show up really good on camera or if you're coming down the stairs. But if they're on the side, they don't look uh, very good. But yeah, I've been working on the the stairway of Lego. And if anybody wants to know, <laughs> just in case, 
Oh, wait, do we got a Carl Malone here? No. Where did Batman? Oh, there's uh, Captain America. <laughs> uh, the 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 hard to get one, and I put some of these uh, up here. But yeah, want to get this area filled with stuff, but it's just so far down. <laughs> Trying to get up there on a ladder is dangerous and precarious. But anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.